Pro, I'm Sylvia Simpson Perez, Director of the Older Individuals Who Are Blind Technical Assistance Center. Hi, I'm Emily Dom, the Communications Coordinator at the National Research and Training Center on Blindness and Low Vision, the NRTC for short. The Older Individuals Who Are Blind Technical Assistance Center, also known as the OIB TAC grant, for the 2015 to 2020 year was awarded to the National Research and Training Center on Blindness and Low Vision at Mississippi State University. This presentation will provide an overview and reflection on our major accomplishments and lessons learned over the past five years. The OIB TAC has a dynamic team made up of RSA professionals and OIB TAC team members. The Rehabilitation Services Administration team consists of Mary Williams, who is the project officer, James Billy, who is the state liaison for OIB programs, and Roseanne Ashby, who is the Chief Unit Director of the Technical Assistance Unit at RSA. And as I have said, I am the Project Director at the National Research and Training Center on Blindness and Low Vision for this project. In the first picture on this slide, you can see Mary, Sylvia, and James at the OIG TAC conference. Also represented on the OIB TAC team at the NRGC are Kendra Farrow, Research and Training Associate, Katherine Holtman, Project Manager, Renee Brannon, Business Manager, Simon Marcy, Website Designer, and myself, the Communications Coordinator. We also want to acknowledge the tremendous accomplishments and contributions made by previous NRC team members, including B.J. Lejeune, Adele Crudden, and Bill Tomlin. In the second picture on this slide, you can see Bill, Sylvia, Kendra, and myself also at the OIB TAC conference. Advisory councils always strengthen a program. The OIB TAC has had excellent representation from the American Council of the Blind, the Academy for the Certification of Rehabilitation and Education Professionals, the Association for Education and Rehabilitation of Blind and Visually Impaired, a Deaf Blind Consumer, the National Council of State Agencies for the Blind, the National Federation of the Blind, and VisionServe Alliance. The picture on this slide is from the 2019 Advisory Council meeting. The OIB TAC grant requires, and thus we work to address, four major priority areas in technical assistance and training. These include, one, community outreach, two, best practices in the administration and services in the OIB program, three, program performance, and four, financial and management practices. The OIB TAC has had the privilege to work on intensive technical assistance and training with 16 designated state agencies. These include Wyoming, Arizona, Minnesota, Iowa, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Washington, Arkansas, Delaware, South Dakota, Louisiana, Maine, Nevada, New Hampshire, California, and Texas. These 16 states are shown on the picture on the slide and designated in purple. These 16 states have represented this cross-section of our nation. However, you might notice that none of these states are in the southeast region of our country. However, we would like to point out that three southeast states do 
participate in program evaluation with the NRTC annually for the OIB program. And thus, we believe that the work we've done in technical assistance have actually benefited those Southeast states as well. Julie Johnson, Manager of Line Services Field Support, Texas Workforce Commission, said this about the OIB TAC. In Texas, OIB TAC has worked with us to see where we might have gaps and assisted us in generating creative solutions to these gaps. Their enthusiasm for the work that they do is contagious. Over the five-year grant cycle, some common themes in technical assistance have arisen. In community outreach, we've been asked to help review or develop community outreach materials and processes, and to identify opportunities for greater collaboration. In the program performance area, there has been great focus on 7 OB data collection and analysis processes. Also, we've been asked to assist with the development or revision of satisfaction surveys. In the best practices area, we've been asked to assist with recruitment and development of qualified staff to meet staffing challenges. And also to help address provision of timely and effective services to older blind individuals. And finally, in the area of financial and management practices, development of tools and policies for program evaluation and identification for areas of greater efficiency have been of tremendous focus. Each day, utilize a goal attainment scale and we have been very pleased to have states achieve a four out of five accomplishment of their goals. We also attract the most commonly requested training by state agencies participating in intensive technical assistance and training. The following are the most common areas of training requested for administration and direct service staff. Adult learning theory and practice, teaching adaptive blindness skills, managing multiple health conditions in the vision rehabilitation process, case documentation and goal setting, and finally, understanding eye conditions, their implications, and low vision. Targeted and universal technical assistance and training are a key component of the OIB tax project. We believe that targeted technical assistance and training has had a tremendous positive impact on the designated state agencies that are providing services to older individuals who are blind. We provide this targeted technical assistance and training through a variety of methods. First, we have a community of practice. We have continuing education courses. We have regular opportunities to connect with peers in the field, and a wealth of resources shared on our listserv. Dee Miller, Missouri OIB TAC Director, said this about the targeted technical assistance and training provided by the OIB TAC. You have been our number one supporter, provided us with a fountain of knowledge, and helped link OIB program managers throughout the country. And as a result, a great support system has been established. Also, our staff are very thankful to have access to your community of practice and courses that are available on your website. The OIB TAC community of practice has had 17,524 visits. We host 132 documents consisting of sample policy and procedures, forms, curriculum, and resource lists. And we have had 5,000 522 downloads of these documents in the last nine months. Our continuing education courses, which are eligible for CRC, ACVREP, and NCBPB credit, are very popular and we believe have greatly enhanced the knowledge of individuals providing services 
and managing programs for older individuals with visual impairments. We have developed 18 courses that have been taken 2,283 times since June 2019. The most popular courses are adaptive skills and techniques for older persons with visual impairment with 370 completions, basics of blindness and low vision with 255 completions, and diabetes and visual impairment which has had 233 completions. We also have six courses in development, which will be completed by the end of the grant cycle. On June 15th, we published our latest course, Understanding Data Collection and the 7OD Report for OIB Programs, which has had 61 enrollments as of July 6th. Some initial major accomplishments in the OIB Act in the areas of targeted and universal technical assistance and training include a monthly OIB manager meeting for mostly with an average of 30 state attendees, a regularly updated OIB program managers list, which is shared on our community of practice and sent to RSA, the best practices document developed in 16 topic areas, a list serve for program managers and direct service providers working with older individuals who are blind, which is used to share and disseminate information. All of these resources have helped to create collaboration and sharing nationally. Another major accomplishment that we at the OIG PAC are very proud of and that we feel has had a major positive benefit is the development of an annual OIB PAC conference for OIB program managers. We held our first conference in 2019 with 35 designated state attendees. This year it will be held virtually and we anticipate even greater engagement. Pictures on this slide is a group photo from the 2019 conference. Karen Hatcher, Massachusetts OIB director, has this testimony of the OIB PAC. OIB PAC has truly transformed the Older Blind program through the simple act of bringing us all together, sharing valuable information, and encouraging all directors to speak up and be proud of what we have accomplished together. Helen Keller said, alone we can do so little, together so much. The same is true of the OIB PAC. To provide exceptional technical assistance and training, we have worked with some excellent partners and collaborators. These have included the Helen Keller National Center, the American Foundation for the Blind, the Hadley Institute, and Vision Serves Alliance. With the Helen Keller National Center, also known as HKMC, we work with them to develop a nine-module course on working with older individuals with combined hearing and vision loss, or confidence living. During the grant, we have had 54 individuals complete this course. We have also hosted two OIB program managers to attend the Helen Keller National Center Confidence Living in Person Training annually. With the American Foundation for the Blind, we have had several projects. First, they previously had several continuing education courses, which have now been transferred to the OIB PAC and revised. There were 541 completions of those courses. In addition, the OIB PAC has sponsored and participated in the annual ASB Leadership Conference and developed and led an aging track. We have also held a free conference OIB managers meeting up until we developed our own standalone conference for OIB program teachers. We also sponsored the development of materials to help support 
older blind consumer. These included a Getting Started with Vision Loss booklet, a Lessons for Living recorded curriculum, and one annual issue of Access World, which is an electronic newsletter devoted to assistive technology. With Vision Serve Alliance, we sponsor the development of a mentoring manual for professional staff, and we participate actively on the Aging and Vision Law Coalition. With the Hadley Institute, we sponsor development of two courses for professionals for continuing education. The OIB tax team has presented and exhibited at many conferences. We believe that this has resulted in much greater awareness of the needs of older individuals who are blind. We also believe it's helped people have a greater understanding of how to provide high quality services and knowledge of the OIB CAC and the many resources we provide to help increase this knowledge. Some of the conferences that we have presented at include the Association for Education and Rehabilitation of the Blind and Visually Impaired, Regional and International, ASB Leadership Conference, American Society on Aging, American Council of the Blind, Association of Vision Rehabilitation Therapists, Blinded Veterans Administration Convention, Envision, National Council on Aging, National Council on Independent Living, National Federation of the Blind, and Vision Serve Alliance. On this slide, there are two pictures. The first is Sylvia and Chris Rogers from ASB at the National Council on Aging Age Plus Action Conference. The second picture is Sylvia at NCSAB. As with any new project, lessons are learned along the way. We learn what works well and where there are areas for improvement. The most valuable lesson that we learn is that connecting OIB program managers for peer-to-peer -peer networking is powerful. We also learned, especially recently, that virtual training and technical assistance has some limitations, but it also has some major strengths that can be capitalized on. In regards to intensive technical assistance and training, we learned that one site visit is generally not sufficient, that regular communication with the OIB program strengthens the outcomes of the technical assistance and goal setting process. And most importantly, that all programs are unique and therefore very individualized to technical assistance is required. We will identify the following major accomplishments of the OIB PAC. Development of the best practices document. Establishment of a monthly remote meeting for the OIB program managers. Establishment of a standalone OIB program manager conference. And the provision of significant continuing education opportunities for both administrators and direct service providers. In addition, the establishment of a community of practice development of monthly webinars for administrators and direct service providers of over blind. We also have increased the knowledge of the importance of strategies to ensure accurate and consistent data collection for the 7 OD federal report and increased knowledge of best practices for service delivery to older individuals who are blind. We are very proud of the significant impact we have been able to have on the Older Blind program. And I'm especially proud to know that our efforts have resulted in improved services to older individuals who are blind. 
we would like to say a special thanks to RSA, our designated state agency administrators and OIB program managers, the many professionals, both administrators and direct service providers who work with older and middle who are visually impaired, to our many collaborative organizations, and to the very deserving consumers who benefit from OIB services. We hope that you too will visit our community of practice at www.oid-tac.org. And feel free to connect with us at the OID chat if we can assist you with anything in regards to services for older individuals who are blind or visually impaired. <laughs>